As you guys know, just over two years ago, China and I jumped on an Air Canada flight to Toronto to land as new Canadian permanent residents in this amazing country. What does being a permanent resident mean for me and my family is a question that many people ask and is a question that China and I asked before actually making the decision to come here. Coming up in this video, we discuss who is a Canadian permanent resident and some of the associated benefits and restrictions. Welcome to Kenny's Concepts, where the beauty of knowledge is our passion. The mission of this channel is to share useful insights and tips to help you on your personal and professional development journey with a specific focus on personal finance, career development, educational success, and opportunities through immigration. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If not, we're super happy that you could join us once again. Remember to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to stay connected and know as soon as a new video is out. Also, if you like this video, show us some love and give us a thumbs up. Let us jump right in and talk about what permanent resident means in Canada and what it does not. A Canadian permanent resident is simply someone who has been granted permanent resident status by immigrating to Canada. Permanent residents are not citizens of Canada, nor are they persons living here temporarily for reasons such as being a student or a foreign worker. We are permanent residents living here permanently but we're citizens of Jamaica. Permanent residents are issued with a PR card which represents their status. This status allows for some great benefits which include one, free access in and out of Canada. Permanent residents can re-enter Canada by plane, boat, car or bus by simply presenting their PR card. We have traveled a few times since being here and re-entering Canada is an absolute breeze. Two, PRs have the legal right to live and work anywhere in Canada. Permanent residents are not tied to a specific employer or a specific province or territory. This provides great freedom and flexibility to choose the right fit for you and your family. We chose to live and work in the Greater Toronto Area or the GTA. Three, access to universal healthcare and other social benefits. Permanent residents have access to free healthcare. Generally, when it comes to healthcare, we simply schedule an appointment to see our doctor, present our health cards, and wait to be seen without paying a cent. Additionally, PRs have access to other social benefits which include education benefits, employment insurance, family benefits, public pension, housing benefits, and others. 4. Sponsor family members to come to Canada. Canada's Family Class Sponsorship Program allows Canadian permanent residents to sponsor family members to immigrate to Canada. There are a number of relationships that qualify for Family Class Sponsorship, including spouses and common-law partners, parents and grandparents, and dependent children. We have not utilized this benefit as yet, but definitely intend to do so soon to sponsor our parents. And five, become a Canadian citizen. Becoming a Canadian permanent resident is the first step to becoming a Canadian citizen. PRs may be eligible for Canadian citizenship within three years. China and I will be eligible for citizenship in August 2020 and we are so looking forward to it. Something to also keep in mind for Canadian permanent residents is that it can last forever. As long as you maintain residence for two out of every five years and generally do not commit any serious crimes, you're good to go. On the other hand, the restrictions to being a permanent resident are very few and include not being able to vote or run for political office and not being able to get jobs that require a high level of security clearance. That's about it. Despite these restrictions, it's important to remember that PRs have just about the same privileges as citizens and that is absolutely amazing. There are many pathways to becoming a Canadian permanent resident and the great one we chose was Express Entry. I recently did a video on the steps to use Express Entry to become a Canadian permanent resident and I'll link that up in the YouTube card above and be sure to check it out. In the comment section below, let us know if becoming a Canadian permanent resident is something that you're interested in or actively pursuing. Also, if you have any questions related to Canada, feel free to drop us a line. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Until next time, stay blessed.